Okay, so we have a sample, uh, a random, a simple random sample of size 50 obtained from a population whose size is 15,000 in the population proportion with specified characteristic uh, of, we, we're not, we don't have any story here, it's just the population proportion is 0.4, 40% of the population. So the sample, uh, the sampling distribution of p hat p hat is our estimate of the proportion, also known as our sample proportion. So our sample proportion should be approximately normal. And the reason we ha that is the case is we can check two, two things. Let's bring up our calculator. We want to check first is 0 0.05 times the uh, population size, 15,000. If our sample size was bigger than this, that would be a little bit too large to guarantee normality or approximate normality. Um, and if your sample size is too big, then you your sampling stops being uh, independent. Your sample your your uh, sample observations stop being independent of each other. Um, uh, but for a sample size less than 750, we don't run into that problem. Certainly a sample size of 50, that's not an issue. The other thing we want to check is if, if uh, the sample size times the sample proportion times 1 minus the sample proportion, if this is greater than or equal to 10, then this is a, a rule of thumb, then we should have approximate normality. So these, both of these are, are are uh, met, so we're going to have approximate normality. Now, the sample proportion is going to have a sampling distribution with a mean equal to the population proportion. So it's going to be equal to 0.4. The standard deviation follows a formula it's going to be the square root of the population propor proportion times 1 minus the population proportion divided by the sample size. So everything, it's a square root of that whole thing. And that is the standard deviation of the sample proportion, 0 0.06. 9, 2, 8, 2. We need six decimal places. So there you go, six decimal places. Now we can answer a probability question. Let's type in the mean, 0.4, the standard deviation, 0 0.069282. And what's the probability that we get a value greater than 0.4? 46, well, that probability is 0 0.1932. There we go. Okay, the probability of obtaining 16 or fewer, also known as what's the probability of getting a sample proportion less than 0.32. The same probability distribution. Now we just calculate a left tail probability. There we go. 0 0.1241. All right. So there you go. The normal probability calculator and some applications in uh, some word problems and some sampling distribution problems. Okay.